folks here at ABN, and my goodness, it just keeps getting better every single time. I can't complain. I honestly cannot find a downfall this evening at all. How are you enjoying the festivities here at ABN? Uh, they're amazing. It's my first ABN. I love walking around and seeing the ass and the titties and all the happy people, happy horny people here. That's a, it's a beautiful place to be. I That's love cool. it right now. It's the first time for me here, first time for me here in Vegas too, so we're sharing that together here uh, at the same time. But uh, I've always been curious because I've always asked the talent this because I always think it's kind of important. I always want to get their perspective on stuff. When you're here at these events, what's it like from the town's perspective when you see all these people coming up, wanting to get an autograph, wanting to get a picture taken? Is that sometimes, do you sometimes feel like a sense like, oh, that's kind of surreal? Is this yes. kind of like a humbling? Uh, what's it's, usually a feeling you get inside when you meet the people here? I feel like I'm almost more excited when I meet them because I don't understand it, I guess, from their end. I, I haven't been nominated or anything for anything, so I'm not used to people coming up to me at all. You know, I'm. If someone orders a video or something for me online, I'm like jumping up and down. Oh my God, they actually reached out to me. But now here, it's kind of oh my God, these people actually watch and follow and keep up with these girls, and and they know the backgrounds and they know the good scenes and they know their styles, and it's just fun to talk about your actual work with the people that appreciate your work because in this industry, it is hard to talk about what you do. So when you come here, it's like the most freeing experience. It's like, this is why I'm here. This is why I do this. this is, it's awesome. I mean, you're talking about this industry being very difficult. It is, and it's very highly competitive now. We on the High Spot Podcast, we cover professional wrestling. Oh. And in that world, it's very competitive because everybody's trying to get that opportunity to get on TV and have their spot so they can be the star of the show. So I'm not kind of putting the same thing in terms of the adult film industry. I'm sure it can be very competitive at times. But is the true competition between you know, your peers and others, or is there more competition with yourself? With yourself. Because at the end of the day, fuck who, what anyone else says. But it's just sometimes that reaction or, or some of the reactions you do get will make you turn that back on yourself because you're such a... In this industry, you have to be a loving person. You have to give a lot of yourself and give a lot of your emotional self, physical self, everything to be happy and to, and to do your work. And it's with the same kind of people. But then you hear that from some people, you know, they aren't as fond of this industry. And it makes you think, ah, oh, well, you know, if I was a dentist, everyone would love me. But I'm happier doing this. And I have to deal with the people I don't care about that are hating on something that, you know, you, you're happy doing. So at, at the end of the day, it is self-inflicted, but it's also easy to get yourself out of that. When you meet people like this, you're around people like this, it's, it's easy to... Well, Evelyn, something I always find interesting is that you guys have a very hectic schedule. Yeah. You guys book yourselves and you're kind of working, working nonstop too. So what do you do to kind of, you know, take a step back and recharge the batteries and unwind? Ugh. Well, I've needed some of that time. I'm with... With performing, with camming, with having your websites, with posting your merchandise and your panties and talking on Snapchat, Instagram, and then having your clip stores where you're shooting content, you're busy all the time. This is a beautiful industry because you have all the hours in the world to do what you want, but you have to be on top of it. I like to just take a trip, go to Tampa four hours away, have a mini vacay, and I'm good because this it does take over your head sometimes and you... You forget what's real and what's not, but you step back and you go back and do it, and it feels natural. Because uh, it is. Yeah, no, two more final things for me. Social media is such a powerful tool nowadays. Uh, everybody has it. Everybody needs to use it. If they don't, they fall back. So how have you been using social media so much to kind of reach out to your fan base? How vital is it for you to create your brand? Oh, it's vital. If I'm not on my Insta or my Snap or posting something that day, I'm, I'm slacking. I'm a fucking slacker. I, can't, I need to, to make me feel good, I have to have content, photos, answered emails, but IG and Twitter by far are the only thing that helps me sell anything. That's the only thing I can talk to my fans on, the only way to reach out to people that haven't seen me. And Evelyn Stone 69 on Twitter and Instagram. Follow me there. DM me. That's how I chat with you guys. That's how I get to know what you want, what you like, and that's how you build it. Right there. That's how and, and wrapping up here, Evelyn, 2017, far behind us now. We're in 2018. Besides work and obviously projects you have looking forward to, any personal goals you hope to accomplish in the year 2018? Yes. Yes. I'm going to get Florida tags. For sure. Personal goal, Florida tags on my car. Other than that, I have had so many goals that I've been reaching lately in the last six months that I'm more driven for personal. I want a funnel cake and new tags on my car. 
and I'm a happy girl. Those are those are beautiful goals, actually, Evan, and I really appreciate it. Well, you know, here at the High Spot Podcast, we wish you nothing but the best. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. But before we leave, everybody says, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's an old wives' tale. It doesn't happen anymore, though. You know, it doesn't Not stay. At this convention. It doesn't stay in Vegas. So what I want to do is I want to include you into an elite group called the Crew. Yes. And it's really simple. It's an initiation. You don't have to sign anything or anything like that. All you gotta do is put your ring finger, middle finger, and thumb together like this. Touch. And now, too sweet. Evelyn Stone is now an official member of the crew, which means everybody who watches this, our YouTube oh channel and our show, are going to follow you, we're going to have your back, and we're going to support you in everything That's you do. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Evelyn Thank Stone. You. Too sweet. Too sweet. <laughs>